and draw us. Oh, I should probably not have flash you guys on YouTube. Okay. It might help your ratings. It might help my ratings. I need more subscribers. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? I'm here with Mom. Hi. Hello. And Dad. And by request, we are going to be doing a Q&A, a family Q&A for you guys. It is our last final day in Key West. If you guys have been watching my previous videos or perhaps you followed me on Instagram, you will know that I've been here all week with my mom and dad in Key West on a much, much needed vacation. It is our final day today. We just left sort of a later lunch slash dinner. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm like two margaritas deep and Ooh. I can't hang like I used to. Like, <laughs> so this Q&A is gonna be interesting. A bunch of you guys submitted some questions on my last video and so we're gonna go ahead and answer them for you guys. Are you ready? All right. Ready? Right. 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 No. <laughs> yeah, I get my personality from this one. You're gonna blame me. I am, it's all your fault. All right. First question, and this was asked by Hannah Osborne. You and your mom look so much alike. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you ever have a period of time when you weren't close with her? I'm not close to my mom, but I want to be in the future. Do you have any advice? Do you want to take this one? Uh, I would say I was. I haven't been really close to my mom, but recently we've talked and kind of cleared the air, and we're getting closer. So uh, my recommendation would probably just. Sit down and talk and tell her your feelings and I'm sure she'd be willing to listen and it'll bring you closer. And I think like lots of mother and daughter relationships, her and I even went through a time when we weren't super, we were always close, but like that typical adolescent teenager and mom type relationship, I remember being like super sassy to my mom in high school. I knew it was just a stage. And yeah, she knew it was just a stage and I look back on it now and I'm like, Oh my god, like I can't believe I acted that way. I actually remember calling her. I've apologized obviously like since high school, but I remember calling her like not too long ago and something just like came over me and I was on the stairmaster. I think I was like getting all feelsy because I was in prep and I was like, I need to call my mom and tell her I love her. And so I called her and I was like, Mom, I'm really sorry for the way that I treated you in high school. You are maybe somebody who struggles with your relationship with your parents. I think just getting it out there just talking about how you feel and regardless like they're going to be willing to listen to you right 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 because they're your parents and they love you yeah you know it's just i think you just need to clear the air totally yeah. this is a question for me from hannah and it says did your mom get you into fitness it was something that i always admired you guys have probably seen in my videos i've talked about in the last video how she's been working out for what 30 five years. I grew up like watching her work out and take her fitness like really seriously so it was definitely something that I always saw. It was definitely a big motivation for me and now every time I come home I know I have a training partner and it's just like one of our little bonding activities. I love it too because I love the bonding time and I learned something new. I've been working out for 35 years but I always learn something new. If you had been a boy what would your name have been? Aaron Michael. Aaron Michael. Close I could have been an Aaron, but now I'm Karen, so that's cool. Close. Close. What is one of the funniest things Karen did as a child? Dad, you want to take this one? Oh, when she was in like grade school. We fed her to dinner. Me and Mal were both busy, and uh, something just didn't happen just right. And she said, "Oh shit!" She was probably seven years old, and <laughs> when she said it, she started crying. And <laughs> we were trying. We were crying laughing, but we couldn't let her see that. So we both kind of like ducked around the corner just to chuckle a second. And then say, don't say that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Like, I seriously uh, She's probably about seven or eight years old. <laughs> you guys all know that you remember the time you said your first swear word. <laughs> uh, what is the best advice for the youth today on how to go about sharing their faith? Mom, do you want to take this one? I think that just to be uh, open about it, you know, about it. If it's something that's important to you, you should share it. Yeah, and that's with anything in life, whether it be faith, family, anything. Anything that's important to you. Obviously, if you have a passion for it, if it's something that makes you who you are, it's part of who you are, it's part of your heart, you should never feel ashamed of it. It's something that you should always be wanting express. to and like to express and share. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Fitty wants to know, hey, is your family currently adopting? I'd like to volunteer. <laughs> no. Although 
we probably lied to you a couple times when you were young. When right? you were young, maybe, but not now. We're old. No. <laughs> you guys have liked a lot of my friends, oh, like, yeah. over the oh, years, yeah. oh, and, like, yeah. have probably wanted to adopt we, them. Oh, we brought a lot of them with on vacation. Definitely. Oh, yeah. That's one thing. Being an only child, I've always had the option of, like, bringing a friend on vacation. So oh, that's yeah. always We have gave her an option this time. Yeah, Amanda, what's up? You could have been here. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> That's a good one. This one, I know a lot of you guys have asked, so I'm gonna like put it into one question. How did your parents react when you said you were going to do a bikini show? Were they supportive or not? Uh, P.S. You're an inspiration. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> I want you guys each to speak on this. I thought it was great because I believe that you support your child in whatever they want to do, and if they're happy doing it, go for it. And if there's so much dedication and hard work in this that I, she inspires me. Yeah, I love you. I love it. You work so hard at everything that you've done as far as you're with it. You're so passionate about it. And uh, we backed her so much that we bought her her suit. I know somebody else asked, I think this would probably be more of an answer from dad, knowing that I would be up there tiny little bikini. That's, I think, the one thing that makes parents maybe not so supportive of this sport is seeing you up there in very minimal clothing. So you can share with YouTube how you perceived that. It's, it's going to one of them. You have to go to it. Yeah. You have to experience it. We've gone to everything that Karen's been involved in. And and we grew with her growing in it. Yeah. So as far as her going to it the first time, it was so important to her. Yeah. We were there for her. And, and then you see everybody that has such a passion as far as for physical fitness, making sure they look right. I mean, it, it's very hard. I mean, for a woman to go up there and be picked on as far as for judge. With a mindset that strong, you can go through everything in life. If you can if you can go through that, you get through a lot of stuff. They're the reason why I never quit. There's so many times where I don't place the way I want to place. In the moment, it's discouraging and it's defeating, but they keep me going, they keep me motivated, and if it wasn't for their support, I honestly would not be here talking to you guys on this platform today, so I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> you make me cry. <laughs> Amy Campbell, what's up Amy? She says, have a wonderful time in Key West, and she says, how did your parents meet? I love hearing those stories. <laughs> used to go to the health club, do now once in a while, but uh, okay. she goes all the time. At the time I was training for a marathon, which I did, completely, and uh, I met mom. She was on a, well, a Stairmaster at the time. This, this is how old we are. She dropped her Walkman. Remember the cassette? I, I'm going to interject here because, because I guarantee that some of my subscribers were not even born in the era of Walkman. No, this is way before that. MP3s. Oh, iPods came out way later. <laughs> what? But, but she dropped her Walkman and I was a gentleman and picked it up and we started talking. Rest is history. Yep, yeah, rest is history. Right, right. 26 years this year. <laughs> Cheers to that. Where's your drink? Diet Coke. Your mom is so cool. More mom, please. They want more mom. That's not a question. I want more mom too. I want them to move to California. Oh my gosh, that's so funny because the next question is from Kimmy Hughes. Hi, Kimmy. She says, since you don't get to see each other so often, what is your favorite thing to do as a family, non-fitness related? Would either of you ever consider moving closer to one another? So what is our favorite thing to do as a family, non-fitness related? Eat, eat. Yes, eat, eat. We don't which we just got done doing. Would either of us consider moving? Would I move back to Chicago or would they move to California? I'm going to say right now, I have no intentions on moving back to Chicago. I uh, obviously, when, when I say I'm homesick, I don't necessarily miss Chicago. Like, I miss them. For me right now, home is in Los Angeles. I love it. I'm thriving there as far as like from the inside out. They know I'm so happy. So right now, I don't see myself moving back to Chicago, but I pray every day that they will move closer to me. I guess you guys can answer that question. I would in a minute. <laughs> um, Emily Funk asks, when I told you guys that I wanted to compete, are you guys involved in the fitness world at all or were you totally shocked by everything that it, it entails? No, because we've always been considered a fit family. Even as older, you know, we, we enjoy our bike riding together. Um, we've always done activities as far as for outside physical activities. Um, no, so more so supportive. We never looked at it as a negative. It was always a positive. And if you want to make positives in life, you need to make positives. You know? Mindset. Right, it's right. all mindset. Yeah. Great video, Karen. When is your next show going to be? Go ahead and watch my last video called Life Updates and Changes, and I talk about what my competition plans are for the rest of the season. Oh, I love this question. Okay, Elizabeth wants to know, she says, I would love to hear 
about your experience as an only child. My husband and I have an only and always like to hear other people's perspectives. You wishfully are thinking that your child won't resent you for not giving her siblings. I'm gonna tell you guys a really quick story. When I was younger, I wanted siblings because I think it's because I that's what I saw like everybody else had and didn't know anyone else who was an only child. I think I must have like discovered that babies were made in a bed at some point. I made like a sign and it said like, please make me a brother or sister and put it <laughs> so clearly, yes, I wanted a brother or sister when I was younger because I think it was just the norm of what I saw. But now as an adult, I can honestly say that I absolutely love being an only child. These two right here, they are my best friends. Um, Alright, so the last question we're going to answer. Uh, did Karen ever bring home a boyfriend that you didn't like? <laughs> oh, dad takes that one. <laughs> right, that's like a dad question. Two. Just one. <laughs> just one. That's good. Just but we one. can't say who it is. Can't say who it was. Because he might be watching, right? <laughs> I just lazy and I wanted to grab him from across the table, but that was when she was young. I haven't had a lot of boyfriends. I think if I'm going to bring someone home, I think I have a good judge of character. If I like them and I'm willing to bring them to meet my family, I am pretty certain that my family's going to approve of them as well. I think the one person that they didn't like, like I was like a freshman in college, yeah. and what freshman in college like doesn't make dumb choices? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right guys, that is going to wrap up our family Q&A. This has been so much fun. We are going to get on with the rest of the evening. This is our last night in Key West. Do you have any final words for YouTube? Uh, follow your dreams and never give up, because our daughter has. That's one thing about our daughter. She never, no. ever gives up. She inspires us to never give up. Sometimes, like I admit, sometimes I feel like giving up. But when she, I see what she does, it just pushes me more. What's funny is they say I inspire them, but at the end of the day, these are the two people that inspire me the most, other than you guys watching. You guys inspire me so much, too. Group hug! All right. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Bye. Thank you guys so much for all of your kind words, your positivity, your support, everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up on your way out. You guys know that that helps me so much. If you guys want to see mom and dad in more videos, like when I go home to visit, when they come out to visit me, because obviously I'm apartment hunting right now, and they're going to come see my new place, yep. make sure you comment below. Let me know. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you being here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.